Hello and welcome to this episode of the undisclosed name because we don't know yet. Co-Emperor Polish Winden, we're not really sure yet. Yes, we are still not very sure after about four episodes in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's still one recording session, so we haven't really had a lot of time to think about it. Yeah, how about, you know, how about we leave it up to the fans? What do you guys want us to call this series? Yes, that's a very good idea. Okay, so, and welcome today, uh, today guys, where we are going to be finishing up today's war. And, to be honest with you, remember last episode where we spent, like, maybe about two or three minutes trying to get onto this little island right here? Well, we kind of realized that we actually don't need that to annex, or I should say vassalize Livonian order. So, so it was all pointless, that's right. Yeah. It wasn't all pointless, it gave us some good war score, I guess, but yeah. yeah. We're gonna take that now, and then Dominic's gonna go... Okay, I'll, Wait, I'll settle to... this peace agreement. Yeah. Let's get out of um, this war. Finally. Okay, so I can take the war goal in Danzig, and then, you know, let's, let's, let's do this. We'll turn him into a two-province miner. How does that sound? Uh, that sounds like we're going to be taking a lot of aggressive expansion, which could make everyone else in the world mad at us. Uh, it's only you know forty-five aggressive expansion. Oh my! That means we won't be able to expand for like ever. Um, that only gives us twenty-six when I drop two territories. All right. Well, just do whatever you need to do, and I'll just go along with it, because I don't really... Okay. I'll, no I'll do that, so VHRE likes me. And, uh... Oh, I could turn him into a vassal, but we'll get more aggressive expansion. Another vassal? Yeah. Sure, let's we... do that. That's okay. a great idea. Oh, never mind. I totally wasn't looking at the bottom there. Oh, oh yeah. Then... Yeah, I should probably look <laughs> before yeah. I make wild statements like that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yes. Might might be a thing. Okay, so lead them dry. And I guess that's really not good though. Hmm. What do you want to do? Come I on, decide. Have... I I'm trying. Come on. I try to take provinces. If Fine. You take provinces as money. Uh there we go. Alright, I think that's good. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. yeah. Go. Right. Okay. Ah, there we go. Whoa, then... whoa, 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 okay. Whoa, whoa, calm whoa, down, whoa! Calm down, calm down, calm down! Whoa! Ah, ah! No! Coalitions! Coalitions! Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, make sure to start converting those into cores. Yep. And stop preparing ourselves with a massive amount of co Wait, let me look at my coalition map mode. I don't wanna- I don't wanna look at it oh right now. Oh my goodness, we- made everyone angry at us. Wow. Also, on a side note, we should probably vassalize Mazovia. Yes. Well, Did you we... already recall my diplomat? Yeah, let's let's recall your diplomat. Okay, stop vassalizing them. Um, okay. I'm gonna start increasing relationships with Mazovia so we can start annexing them too. Okay. Oh my goodness, wow. Wow. All right, all right. Let's look. Let's check the coalition map mode. Oh, that's yeah. That's... We're we're not expanding for a little bit. I can tell you that. Yeah. Um. <laughs> we're, oh, we're... oh, just wow. just to add on. Wow. Just to... Okay, so who exactly is in our coalition right now? Everyone. I'm, I'm so scared. I can't. I can't even. Oh, just... Riga entered the coalition. Nice. Now you know Riga's not. This. Wow. This is wow. bad. This is really bad. You know what? We could actually, actually, looking at the coalition, we could actually deal with it. I'd rather not. As long as they don't have, as long as we don't have Sweden. Um, um, look at, look at how much money we're making, by the way. Nothing? Are you not seeing what I'm seeing? Maybe, I'm, I'm my screen's... Oh, before the tick. Uh, spoils of war was like plus 24, so it looked like we're making 25 ducats. Oh. That was, that excited me for a second. Well, that would have excited me too. By the oh. way, let's combine our armies now and start to divvy them up again. Mm hmm. I'm sending my guys to uh, Warsaw. Warsaw? Never mind. Just send them oh. right here. This is, yeah. the this is like neutral ground over here. Mm hmm. 
Because we have to divide up territories here very soon. And figure out everything. Again. Uh, that was upsetting. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, at least, at least we have at least two... We have like a lot of different vassals who give us mm -hmm. money. Yeah. And we could possibly do a lot of things with that. Too many diplomatic relations. Ah. It's okay. That's why we're annexing Mozovia. Mm, yes. Ah, your general died. Do you want ah. And the new Holy Roman Emperor is Fernandez the First of Austria. Emperor Ferdinand. Well, that's that. Or no, Archduke Ferdinand. Okay. There we go. So the armies have been split. Was. My army is the Army Z of Danzig. I don't know why they name it the Army Z of Danzig, but that's not named the Army Z of Danzig. Army Z of Danzig. But in parentheses, you should put uh, my personal Doge. No, it's your army. You can you can name it whatever you want. Yeah, I'm getting kind of tired of keep like renaming the armies because it's like yeah, it's like I, I want to keep my army name. Oh wait, I can't. <sighs> sad days, sad days. Okay. Oh wow, we're annexing these guys at a fast speed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so fast. Uh, and then we'll be able to integrate Lithuania in how many years? Too many. Uh. Like 50? Uh, it's gonna get us until 1451. 1491. <laughs> I was about to say, uh, that was about three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in 1451, we'll be able to integrate all of Lithuania. Mm hmm. And then, yeah. and then I think people will truly understand how powerful Poland is right now. Yes. Because I don't think people... Oh, by the way, does Austria still love us? Oh, Austria still love us, even with our aggressive expansion. Look at that. Oh, they have even a little heart right next to us. They really love us. Uh, yeah, we better make sure we don't make the Roman Emperor mad at us. Because <laughs> I definitely don't want to deal with that. I definitely don't want to deal with the fallout of that. Mm hmm Now, wait. Why does Burgundy hate us? Oh, because of aggressive expansion. Right. right. <laughs> yeah, everybody hates us because of that. <laughs> but as I say, I don't really care because I'm a more powerful nation than you. So, oh. we also, on a side note, Dom, we kind of need our manpower to recover. Yeah. We kind of took a lot of bad stuff, which means we are in very bad territory for having a peasant's war. Mm. Which would not be preferable right about now, if you know what I mean. No, no, that would... I'd be against that, actually. Yeah, I would definitely be against the Peasants' War, too. By a lot, actually. It would... I'm surprised you haven't noticed yet. Uh... Or at least called it out. I... I'm worried, what? <laughs> Maybe you should study the province names a bit more. Uh... Oh, oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. No, I Maybe. actually, I'm actually not sad about that. Let's let's keep yeah. it that name. Okay. You know, got some uh, capitals going. Mhm. Mm oh, you're renaming it. I hear you're typing. There we go. Oh, oh, Southern Pride. Yes, right. this is the Southern Pride down here. Hmm. You ain't gonna those you ain't gonna beat us up just because we're the south. We're the southern parts of Poland. Southern Poland. Southern Poland. Oh, 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 look. What? A gleaming moment. We're making 0 .08 to cots. <gasps> no I way. know. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. oh um hey, hey buddy. I can't take care of this by myself. Okay, take my army and go kill them. Yay. Yeah, that's why you keep your armies in the provinces you were trying to and you were trying to pour, or you do harsh treatment. Oh, I didn't do harsh treatment yet. That's a problem. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's do that. Can I even do that now? You can do that in, in Chamelo and Emland. Chamelo. Don't combine the armies. You keep them no. separate. Yes, I realize. Okay. I've learned my lesson from last time. Okay. I don't want to have the issues of dealing with our different armies. Mm-hmm. Okay. And let's see. We are almost done annexing. Oh, my 
my goodness. Almost done annexing. It's happening. I know, dude. We're oh. going to have our true Watch capital, Warshock, in our control, which means now we have to divvy up land again. Yay. Uh, how about... Okay. Um... We could just leave Warsaw in my control. It's fine. Uh, no, my sphere of influence. No, no it's, it's all right. Neutral. I will Capitals gladly are accept. Capitals of neutral ground. We already know this. So, how about this? I'll take the new capital of Krakow and Belize. And basically, all the other land I took down here, and you keep all the northern land. Okay. So, we basically divide it on the borders of Krakow, um, Sandemans, and Lubin. And you get everything northern except for Warsaw. I think that's a fair deal. Okay. Do you think so? Mm -hmm. Um, when we inherit Lithuania, I would like to get a pre-dubs on owning uh, Smolsk. Because I really like that territory. Smolsk. Where's Smolsk? It's touching Russia. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's, it's technically in your territory, so I don't see any problems with that. Okay. Nah. Well, right. I guess you wouldn't mind if, uh, you know, Kiev known where to, you know... <laughs> Be occupied by the good people of the... No? <laughs> yes. Yes, I, I get your drift. I get your drift. Uh... Although, no, to be perfectly honest, I think the key of notes in uh, your your part. To be your controller of trade, but yet I'm the one who technically has Kiev, a quick off node in my control, but... Ah. Uh... Oh, no, what? Oh, hey, where to, where to Pope? What? Pope, oh, shoot. Pope. Pope. And we just inherited stuff, and we just got ten prestige. Oh shoot, that means we have an extra diplomat. Um. Oh, he's. Technically. He's the Pope's diplomat. Wait, do we have an extra diplomat? Yeah, we're the papal controller. We're the curia right now, so that means we do have an extra diplomat. Which he's means. He's the Pope's diplomat. No one has him. Which means. <laughs> Tom makes like no one has this diplomat. Well, I was gonna say that maybe it'd be both of our diplomats, but. No, oh, no. Okay. I I took some liberties. What'd you do? Um, it's fine. I took some liberties. Uh, I'm not gonna ask, but the papal state. Huh. I boldly went where we shouldn't have gone. I'm looking at I'm looking at some of these national events that we could get. Get Eastern. Get Eastern. Oh my goodness. What's this? What's this Institute Libium of Veto? Uh. Wait, why did we just. Why did we just do that? We didn't, I didn't do that. Do what? Um, I'm gonna be decreasing our uh, army size by a little bit because we do have to start paying back our loans. Mm hmm. Okay. But wow, we look like a very powerful Poland. Yes. I'm happy with it. It's a shame that Marienburg is just there now. Oh, they they moved the capital, so it doesn't matter anymore. Shame. No, it doesn't matter. We could annex them, or we could like vassalize them next time. So it doesn't even really matter. I really don't want to vassalize them though, because there's that Brandenburg situation. It's a shame I can't just give it to them. Well, do they have a core on it? You could technically give it to Palmer Brandenburg because they they do have a core on it. Mm. So then we just give that to them and then we just take the rest of Tectonic Order for ourselves. Mm. Although we will have to start beating up on the HOE eventually, dude. Yeah, it's inevitable, but for now I'd rather be sort of peaceful with them. Okay, okay, that's fine. I can, I can admire that. And okay. we just cool. gained a core province! Which gives us less aggressive expansion! Oh, um... Yay. I set the mission to be reduced overextension because we were doing it anyway. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's fine. So, like, what, what do we have to do to, like, get the uh, Imperium Liberty Veto? Uh, Poland has unlocked the Noble Knights idea. Okay. Is that war? <laughs> war exhaustion at 8%. Hmm. Number of cities at least 6 Okay, Dominic, do you see this event? Oh, uh, event spawn troops. Yeah. Look nice. how much we get. So basically, another army. Yep. In an emergency war. By the way, we just got two taxes in the Polish inheritance. Yep. Two base tax in our new capital. We pay loan. There we go. Yep. 
Let's see, a Duke Capital has 10 base tax. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. 12, um, uh, it looks like. Let's see. No, wait, it's base 10. Sorry, my bad. Let's see, what are the, let's see what other events we kind of get from here. Uh, I think these all, the rest of these are kind of generic events, but... Polish, Lithuanian, Commonwealth. I like. <laughs> uh, just wait, Dominic. We have we to... need Danzig and Marienburg. What do you mean? Oh, I was about to say, I have Danzig. And we need, need a tech, we need an we need an administrative tech of at least ten. So don't get ahead of yourself. We have a lot of time before that happens. Uh, ooh, that was bad. I'm thinking about maybe fifty years. Uh, yeah, it's probably gonna take about 50, 44. 60, 50, 60, something like that. If we're doing really good tech, the cost should take us a very short amount of time. Mhm. Mm it's a shame though because we're Eastern, so it's gonna take a bit longer. <laughs> Yes, but our Eastern power will rival everyone as soon as we tech up because we're, we're Maybe like... Maybe not France. We ain't, we ain't France, but we ain't bad. Mm. Okay. Oh, by the way, what are you doing with your diplomat? Uh... Yeah, he's just hanging out, having some coffee. Okay, let's see. Is Burgundy still disputed succession? Oh, no. <laughs> France got... France is no longer disputed succession. Hmm. Oh. I was having so much fun with that. <laughs> and then Riga, I don't think we're ever going to get to being our little vassal anymore. And mm. France apparently loves us, so I'm going to see if we can get some, like, relationship with them. So serious. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> okay, let... uh, hey, man, if you're, if you're offering to give us money, I'll gladly accept it. True, true, and true. Let's see, my new army... The army of Danzig. Oh Just man. Take Gotland. Hey. Gotland. We need Gotland. <laughs> Are you sure you want Gotland? I want Gotland. But it's just a little tiny island. I want it. Four base tags. I want it. Uh, speaking of which, I'm looking at the trade value map mode right now. Looking at what the most valuable trade value is. Mm hmm. Um. So far, the most valuable is the little t is the city of Novgorod. Huh. That was a neon. You're imagining things. They desire Smolsk. Armies, oh. buildings. Let's see who has the most. Who? Let's They're see. Who is more industrial based, us or the North? Uh, it's about even right now. Oh. Missionaries. Yeah, we, we have the capital. You guys don't have anything built in the capital. D uh, duh. And technically, the capital's neutral land. The capital's yeah, no one's. That's a technicality, I mean. It's no one's. <laughs> the capital is no one's land. We already agreed on this, remember? We don't want the emperor to control too much too power. Yeah. Either emperor, so the capital is neutral land. But once that starts happening, then there's going to be a senate, and then one of us is going to get stabbed. It's just... It's a vicious cycle. It may be, but we could we could be very civil about this, too. Also, when we inherit Lithuania, do you want to change the capital to Kiev? Um... Because it would just make sense. Do you want to change the capital? I mean, I thought we gained more money just from staying here. Hmm, let's see. I mean, this is what... This 17... Is what, right now, this note 21. Is what, we own 94% of this node's power. Plus, we also... Where are we collecting from this node? Because that's a stupid idea. Oh, we should be... Dude, we sh <laughs> We should be, like, collecting from, like, the... You've uh, decided that you are handling trade, because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, okay. Gonna recall merchants? Yes, but I can't recall the merchant in Kiev because that was yours. I can't do that. I'm there. I recalled him for you. Thank you. Okay. I can't overstep my boundaries as an emperor. He's gonna he's gonna miss Kiev. <laughs> uh this is how you're supposed to do it. Alright, so then we're collecting from Crimea. That we were getting a little bit more money. And we, since we already automatically collect because it's our capital over here in, in Kiev, I mean in um, Krikov, we don't need to be collecting from there. That's why you never do it. 
If you ever wondered, that's why you never do it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We're gaining our, our money. And all this. Ah, ah. It's happening again. Everyone, I want to thank you guys for watching. Actually, you're the one who sent us off this time. Oh, oh, okay. Um, I'd like to thank you all for watching. And if you want to check out the other person's perspective, which is the same perspective, go check out the other channel, whichever channel you're currently watching. Um, thank you, and we will see you next time in the Polish re-getting manpower. <laughs> yes, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.